to Julia's. Why are we so loud? I don't one, know. Two, three. Hey guys! Hey! Hold on. Okay. One, Why two, do we always mess up the intro? Hey guys, welcome back to Malaya's Corner. I'm Brianna. And I'm Malia. And today we're going to be doing book reviews, but in a cool way. So we're going to be reviewing books that we think you guys should read. Over the quarantine, we've read some books and we thought we should share them with you guys. So, let's get to it. The book I decided to read was a book called One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia. The three main characters of the book are named Delphine, Vanetta, and Fern. Delphine is the oldest, and she is in charge of keeping all of her siblings in order. This story takes place in 1968. Many people were fighting for African American rights at this time, but in Delphine and Vanetta and Fern's lives, they were flying to Oakland to meet their birth mother, named Cecil. They got off the plane after making a grand spectacle of themselves and waited for their mother to arrive. A lady gave them money because she had never seen so well-behaved colored girls, but that's besides the point. They finally saw their mother, and she wasn't dressed normally. She was dressed as if she was undercover. Delphine, Vanetta, and Fern arrived at Cecil's house. It wasn't what they were expecting, because it was halfway empty. She didn't let them into the kitchen, and she sent them to fast food places to get dinner. Delphine called her crazy, which was an if understatement. If you want supper, go around the corner to Ming's, order a large shrimp lo mein, four egg rolls, and a large bottle of Pepsi. The breakfast program was owned by the Black Panthers. At the breakfast program, Fern was made fun of because her doll, Miss Patty Cake, was white and she wasn't. At the breakfast program, Delphine, Vanetta, and Fern learned many things that had to do with fighting for rights. Delphine soon learns that Cecil is a writer, and the Black Panthers would call her Benzilla. Cecil's kitchen is covered in poems, and it's her writing space. Delphine, Vanetta, and Fern stay with Cecil for 28 days until they go back to New York. In that time, they learn many things about their mother that they never knew. What I liked about this book was that it had historical fiction, and it was very comedic, and the character arc was like, ooh, it was like an arc. Was it, that was stupid. And I liked how the characters developed over time as you read the book more. So my book is the book six. It's written and illustrated by da Diane Alber. It begins on a hot summer day, when a cold, tasty treat begins melting away. It was a very hot day, so it happened too quick. It was once a popsicle, and now just a sane stick. I should have not gone out when it was so hot. I was sweet and amazing, and now I am not. What can I do? This has all gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? Then Stick heard a voice up in a tree. Hello down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you've been through. My name is Twig, and I'm made of wood too. Then Stick jumped down from the tree. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before I'm being a popsicle, you are part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. Stick, there's something I'd like you to see. Sometimes things happen, and the reasons aren't clear. But give it some time, and the answers will appear. Come on. So, I like this book because, like, it rhymes, and, like, I like the message it's trying to say in the book. The message in the book is that y there's always a place in the world where you belong. And sometimes people have to guide you to the place. Yeah. And make sure to look out for some more. Helena, we need to, we need to calm down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to look out for some future videos in the future. And, hey, did I just say future videos in the future? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to laugh, like, and enjoy when you watch our future videos. But for now, bye. <laughs> What's that? Hello there. Brianna, seriously. <laughs> Hello there. The book I decided to read was One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia. I'm not gonna say Oh, 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 Start crying. No fake cry, stupid. It's not no. that hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> what was that face? I don't know my line. <laughs> Happened, and the reasons aren't clear. 
Why'd you look, at, you the look at the camera? Both <laughs> here. Don't forget where you belong. Oh wait, we're not supposed to do that. Bye. Thanks for watching. Which way should we go this time? Should we go like? Bye.